I would say that uh, the fate of science and the integration of scientific thinking into the legislative process depends on a lot more than one person. Uh, so it depends on members of the APS and the general public, uh, as well as other members of Congress who um, have a familiarity with and a comfort level with science. And there are some others. Uh, I wish there were more. Well, funding for basic science uh, from the federal government is about half of what it was in the 1960s as a percentage of the, of the national economy, of the, of the gross domestic product. So that's not good. Uh, industry has increased its spending and made up for some of that gap, uh, but what industry invests in is different than what uh, the uh, federal government invests in. And so we have a, I think, a real shortfall in investment in um, fundamental research, in, uh, in, into the kinds of processes uh, that can later be used in, uh, in understanding applied, um, uh, 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 in applied research. So yes, there's a real shortage. Crisis, perhaps, what I think is, is uh, the, the greater crisis is the crisis of confidence in America. Because what this failure of the government to invest in research really means is that we're failing to invest. So it is not just that a particular program in the Department of Energy or in NASA it has a shortfall in funding. It is more that we are not acting as if we have a great future. Uh, and uh, of course, science and research in this country is part of what has made this country great. And if we're going to continue uh, to have the quality of life that we want for our children ever improving, if we want the kind of uh, prestige and power um, to do things positive for the good of humans, uh, we have to invest more than we do.